Welcome back to another Audacity tutorial. In this video, I'll show you how to increase or decrease the volume of a imported music file or sound file or of a file that you've recorded, uh, some audio that you've captured or recorded yourself. So to get started, I'm just going to drag and drop in an actual uh, audio file. We'll do this one of this jazz guitar. Just left click and drag it in. Uh, and then we see the audio file here. If we click, we can play and listen to what it sounds like. And audio at. So if we want to increase the, the volume of this, we've learned in the past we can just increase the gain over here. And this will actually affect the final output. We can also just turn like the volume up on our computer, which is what it, this knob up here is doing. If we change it up here, it changes just the output volume of our computer. So that's actually not, that's going to help us hear it better, but just know that that's not going to uh, change the final output of this file. And also, when we change over here, we see the wave doesn't change at all. So if we want to change the way the wave looks, like actually amplify the, the wave, what we need to do is go up to Effects and go to Amplify. And when we just do it just like this, it's not going to let us do anything because it says you have no selection. So by default, um, Audacity doesn't assume that we want to just amplify the entire audio file. It wants us to choose. So we could say just amplify this portion. If we left click and drag and highlight, we can highlight a certain por uh, part of it. Or we can press Control A to select all. Another way to select all is to go up to select and click all. So select all. We can go select none. We can select by track. We only have one track right now, but um, let's go select all. And now that everything's selected, we can go back to effects and go to amplify. And now it brings up this window here. So um, audio levels are measured in decibels, this dB. And so this is, this is going to amplify it by 7 decibels right now. If we had this set to 0, there'd be no ampli amplification. So the 0 is kind of the, the neutral point right now. If I say OK, nothing happens. Everything looks the same. It's not any louder or any softer. Um, but Control A to select everything again. If we go to Effects, Amplify, um, and if we have it above 0, it's going to amplify it, make it louder. If we have it below 0 in the negative, it's going to make it softer, quieter. So let's come up to, it's, it was here by default, like up seven, 7. Basically, it was, I think, to almost its height, like the highest it could possibly amplify it until it starts clipping the audio. Remember, clipping is when the wave goes above the very top, above this 100%. So if we go any high, we can click OK now, but if we go any higher than this, it's going to get grayed out and we can't click OK unless we check this box here. It says allow clipping. But so let's just come down. We'll come down to about maybe right here and we'll click OK. And then we see our wave gets larger. And we can actually play. And it's a louder volume now. We can see up in our activity up here that it's louder. Um, if we want to undo that, and maybe we want to change it, we just do Control Z to undo, or we can use these undo and redo buttons up here. Um, let's select everything again, and this time let's try to make it softer. So we go to Effects, Amplify, and then we'll change it. Let's go down to maybe the, that same extreme, maybe like a negative five or six, and we'll go OK. So now it's kind of much, much more quiet and soft. So this is actually adjusting the wave. It's actually modifying the actual sound, the wave that makes up the sound, and either making it louder or softer. Um, so that's a quick introduction, and this is actually an introduction to using effects in general. So we'll do this the same way. If we want to apply, you can read through some of, the, some of these other effects, and we'll be jumping through a lot of them uh, in the next tutorials. But just remember, you have to have everything selected. And I guess let's just try that for now. If we want to have just this one portion of the song, this part right here. If we want to make just this loud, we can just have this selected like we do, and then go to Effects, Amplify, and then we can make it loud. And let's actually, let's bring it clear up here, and let's go Allow Clipping. So this is going to amplify this incredibly loud, so loud that it actually comes above the total, the top of this, um, like the, of the part that we can see. So we go OK, and now look how that's just crazy, and that's going to be loud and ugly. I'll do it at the end just so it's not too loud for us. <laughs> um, so you can see it's distorted, it's clipped, that's louder than we, we would want. And something I want to show, if we were to highlight this now, and we're like, oh, it's the, 
if we want to undo that change, we should click undo. But if we want to do it the wrong way, we could go back to amplify and be like, let's take it back down to, to try and correct it. But now look what happens if we do that. And then we're like, oh, that's too small. And then we go to effects, amplify again to try and change it. What we're going to see is if we look at this wave, now look how, look at it. It's like all just flat and ugly. So if we zoom in here, here we can just select it and then click this button here that zooms into the total selection. So it's just, look, it's completely square now. It's a lot different than it was before because we messed around with it and we amplified it and then put it down. So if ever you want to, to make changes, the way to, to reverse an amplification is just to do the undo, not to come back in here and lower the level or raise the level after the fact. Does that make sense? So if I want to get this back to how it was originally, I just push back and back and back until we get back to the original. Hopefully you found this video informative. That's using the amplification. Go ahead and play with that. We can also use it on our own recorded audio. Um, and uh, yeah, that's basically using the amplification effect. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.